What's up guys, Root from NoShell.com here today, bringing you back with some more Python tutorials. Check it out. Let's get idle fired up and we can start programming and create, create a new window with control N. I'm going to save this as file.python. I actually saved it as phi.e.python. That's a damn shame. Let's save it as something else. Let's save it as file.python. There you go. <laughs> Alright, let's get our shebang line started up here. Environment Python. And I'm going to create an object-oriented skeleton for us to work with. We don't need any inheritance, because we're only going to be working with one object today. Get our constructor going on with the initiate keyword with two underscores on either end, and then the self keyword as a parameter. I'm going to have it print something. Let us know that we're in business. Let's get some new lines in here so it's a little cleaner. We're going to create that object can be a base, an instance of the base class, and that's all set. Okay, cool. Now, today what we're going to be talking about and learning about and all that good stuff is uh, file handling and working with files. Now, in this video, we're only going to work with um, opening files and being able to create them and write to them and that sort of thing. But, you know, that's, that's definitely a good start. So, let's begin. Um, when you're working with files... Yeah, uh, usually you can use them as a sort of idea to like save your data and save your information. You have uh, a gateway to be able to like save variables just in case you your user ever stops the program and runs it again a different time. You have like external configurations. You can set up settings and just the way things. You can like almost create a save state for your program if you want to, and that's kind of convenient. You're able to write to it so you can save your data and you can read from it and like get your data back. You would be able to understand variables and that sort of thing. So let's get started though. When you're working with files, you need to create a file handle or a file object or just something that's going to be able to, you know, work with a file. So uh, let's do that. Let's create a file handle object, and we're going to use our assignment operator and use a new function called open. Now, open is an interesting thing. This is good. This is the function that allows the gateway to the, to the to opening the file, obviously. And let's check out our parameters here. We have open as the name, and then we have the mode and buffering. But it looks like mode and buffering are optional, so we don't really have to worry about those in too much detail yet. But let's give it a go. Let's try... Name is obviously going to be our file name or the path to the file. Now, most of you, I'm assuming, are on Windows, so you probably be typing in your C drive and then like documents and settings and then uh, your username, like John, and then you got to put on your desktop because you have necessarily long file system and all that crap. <laughs> but hey, but you're gonna be wanting using these uh, forward slashes because. Uh, if you use backslashes like you're used to seeing, remember that the backslashes remain, they, they represent an escape character. So you'd have to use double backslashes so it interprets them as a real backslash. But... I also kind of recommend you run Linux and make things you, make your life a lot easier, but hey, whatever. On, on Linux, obviously, you can just type in your short little file name here, and then I'm going to call mine a... Let's see... File.txt because I'm unoriginal, whatever. So let's just plain old run this. We're going to open the file, boom, we should be set, right? No, you're wrong. <laughs> the thing is, we don't have a file yet called file.txt. If I open up my terminal, and we check out what's in here, I can get rid of that stupid phi.e.python file, and then we don't have anything in here named Hex, uh, file.txt. I have a test.txt, and I want to remove that, because that's just dumb. But, uh, yeah. We don't have this sort of uh, file.txt. We have to fix this. We have to be able to create that file from our program. So what we do is we work with that mode option. We can go in here and supply whether we want to read from the file, whether we want to write to the file, and there are a lot of other things you can do as well. You can, um, you can do both at the same time if you need to, and uh, some other stuff. So we're going to go more in depth with it as the video series goes on and progresses, obviously, as you know. But let's get started with the write option first. You're going to need the first letter of whatever you're trying to do. And in my case, we're just going to write to it. So if the file doesn't exist, it's going to create it. If we run this program now, we get our hello world, no errors, we are set. We are in business. So let's go back to our terminal. Let's see, ls, and now we have file.txt right here. So if we remove this, Remove the file again, remove file.txt, that's what it is, and then we check it out. It's ob obviously, it's not there, but if we run our Python code, hello world, we switch back to our terminal, we look for output, and boom, there it is again, because it creates the file even if it's not there. If it is there and we run the program, it's just going to grab it and, re and write from it, that's, that's all. 
So now let's begin to write some stuff in there. We're going to want our file handle, and then, because if we if we open up the file, first of all, let's, I'll open it up in a text editor, file.txt, file.txt, there's nothing in there. It's a blank file. So let's go back into our program now and let's start writing some things. What we're going to be doing is we're using our file handle option, I'm oh, sorry, our file handle object, and then using the function that's called write. Now, we're going to want a string that we can write to it. Let's write, um, this is a new file that I created. Okay. And now that we're done working with that file, though, we don't want to just leave it open. That's kind of dangerous. There could bring about some problems and some conflicts later on. And because we're just those awesome, pragmatic programmers, we're going to want to go ahead and clear this up. So what we do is we, we close the file. And we just use that function, close. When we're done working with it, just don't leave it open, because that could be problematic. So let's run this again, though. Let's run this. No, no errors. And let's check out what we got here. Let's, uh, let's, nano, file.txt. And now you can see, this is a new file that I created. It's written what we wanted. So let's try it again. Let's run the program once more. And let's, uh, actually, let's, let's set some variables. So let's make our program just a little bit better. String to write, first of all, can be our little thing here. da 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 da, -da. You can replace this with string to write. Paste that in there. Let's get our file name. It can be equal to well, what it is that we're opening, because it's usually a good idea to just save everything as a variable, especially if you're going to be using it more than once. So you can use file name. Okay, cool. So let's do. Let's get some output though here. Let's print out file opened. We'll quickly write out there, file written to. We're going to add on the string variable of. Uh, actually, we don't even need to. We don't have to cast it because it's already a string variable. String to write. And we should be set. Let's see what we got here. File opened, file written to. This is a new file that I created. Let's actually add a tab there so it doesn't look so weird. But if we go back to our program, or at least up to our file, it's going to say this is a new file that I created, and we run the program again, we run it, and we go back to our terminal, and there it is again, this is a new file that I created, but wait a second, this is, wait a second, this is a little weird. Didn't you kind of expect it to just repeatedly say this is a new file that I created, this is a new file that I created, and this is a new file that I created, because we're running it so many times? No, you, you, it's actually a little bit weird. Because we're writing to the file, we're taking everything that was already in that file and then just erasing it and filling it in with what we write to it. So in our case, uh, string to write. So let's try it. If we save the program, if we save our file.txt just like this, as file.txt, and we run our program, it's written to it, and now we can nano open it up again, and there it is. This is a new file that I created. It, er it erased everything that was in there and just put in this. Now this could be kind of problematic. You might not want this. So let's go ahead and try something new. Let's uh let's remove the file. That'll make things easier. And then we can go into go into our Python program and we want to change the mode to A cuz this will let us append to the file or add new things to it. So let's change it. A. Awesome. Now we can file handle write and then let's change the string write variable, string to write anyway, to a new line because we want to be able to add more and more and more to it. So let's give it a go. Run our program. File opened. It's created because it wasn't existing to begin with. We right, We wrote to it, and we've added this new line character. So everything looks grand. Let's check it out in the program. Let's check it out in the file, anyway. Nanofile.txt. This is a new file that I created. OK, our text is filled in, and we have a new line character. We can go up and down here. So let's run the program again and again. And how about again? And let's uh, let's change the string variable here to you. Because that's funny. Laugh. Ha! And uh, run it again. And now let's check out our terminal. Let's nano file.txt. And boom! Check it all out. We've run the program like four or five times. It's put in exactly what we wanted it to. And it's appending it over and over and over again. So this is great. We're able to write to the file. We can add things to it. If things that already exist, that sort of thing. But we're missing a little bit of functionality here. Don't we want to be able to read from the file, too? 
Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a cliffhanger. There it is, right there, smack down on the ground. That is a cliffhanger. You're going to have to watch the next tutorial to find out. See you again. Bye.